another one. So, it's a big day for me today, so I've kept my uh, glasses. A bit nervous, but I'm gonna look like a fucking a twat. I look like him from EastEnders, Ben. But, uh, we'll see, just walk over at Wingleby, low fields now. More updates to come. What is it about all women that the perfume all smells the same? You know, you get that bit of sort of bleh in the cloud when you walk past them. But they have like a fucking old age pensioner perfume store where you get a free on the NHS or something. Ooh, just nearly died when I was walking past Tesco there. Looks here. Well, here we are. Over low fields. Teal. This is where we're going, baby. I'll tell you what, the service in there was unbelievable. Best customer service I've had uh, face to face for fucking god knows how long. I feel like right dick doing this when uh, cars and shit go past, like. But yeah, best customer service. Highly recommend them. Absolutely amazing. Well, he's first look at the gigs. Um, I haven't seen what I look like with them on. I want to say that'll get in, but. Just bog standard ones, really. But. Oh, fucking hell. That absolutely knacked. Just uh, trap my hand in the glasses case. I'm looking fat bad. Get on with it. So uh, this is what I look like with me, me gigs on. Don't look like too much of a twat, so quite happy with it. It's fucking mad how much I can see though, honestly. It's way down, it's got profit. Yeah, so uh, overall, happy with that I've got glasses. I've probably need, needed them for about fucking seven years or so, but I've always been held back because I've been scared of if I look like a dickhead or whatever. But comes a certain point in life where you've just got to realise that you shouldn't give a fuck what people think. And if uh, the glasses are going to help me you know, do my fucking driving tests and shit and then help me get my hippie van, then I'm more than happy to look like specky four eyes or whatever the crack is these days. <sighs> okay, see you later.